Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We're talking about that loading screen right there in today's video. Foot or FIFA 21 Freeze. It is a new promo that we have not ever had in this game that looks like is going to be coming out this Friday in FIFA Ultimate Team. We need to talk about what this promo might be. Is it replacing Foot Miss? And what else is going on with the game right now? Because these Team the Group Stage cards, they're in packs for an extra day. I want to talk about that for a second as well. We have a new card design in the pack code, not one that is new to us, one that we were expecting. And of course, talking about the rewards market today, what this does mean for Team the Group Stages and what this could mean for the next week or two inside of FIFA Ultimate Team. Because we're also still looking for and wondering where are icon swaps and when are prime icons coming back into packs. So again, this Friday is going to be a lot of question marks, a lot of uncertainty. So we're going to st start to decipher it and possibly talk about what it could be and hopefully get some information later today on Thursday from EA. By the way, it's rewards day. Good luck if you're ripping your rewards. Good luck if you're flipping. Of course, we got the transfer list full of stuff as well. So let's talk about FIFA Freeze. I'm going to go back out and load back in and just show you this loading screen once again because I'm sure you've seen it. But very simple loading screen. It just says freeze on it and it looks like ice. That's literally that all that it is. And there's a lot of stuff graphically that this looks like that ties to other promos in other games. This looks very similar. And I don't think we can like read into this at all. It just literally looks like a, a goal net and then like frozen ice. It's kind of weird. But there have been similar promos in FIFA Mobile and Madden called Freeze inside of their ultimate team modes or inside of FIFA Mobile. So we're going to take a look at those just uh, right now. I want to take a look at the Madden version of Freeze first because the thing I'm the most interested in in this is because this was last year's Madden Freeze promo. Um, and like this kind of the, the, the design stuff looks almost exactly the same as what was on the loading screen right there. So they had new badges and collectibles. Not sure what that means. Ghosts of Madden past, present, and future. Uh, maybe a flashback SBC is what that could mean. But this is one thing. Out of position players. If we're really going to have another promo with out of position players in FIFA, other than the ones we already have in the second half of the year, like um, like shapeshifters and stuff like that, do we really need another promo with that kind of stuff? Uh, you know, so not a lot of stuff in here, honestly, that looks to be, you know, comparable to FIFA. It just looks like another promo, basically. Uh, mobile, FIFA Mobile. Uh, this is where I think a lot of our thinking of where this. Uh, FIFA freeze is going to look like what it's going to look like is coming from uh, basically FIFA mobile as you can see here uh, this stuff started on December 12th football freeze event unlocked December 12th now this is from last year 2019 um, but it goes all the way through New Year's Eve and Boxing Day so this is honestly a lot of people are thinking that what FIFA freeze is this year for us is what um, summer heat was last year for footies because summer heat kind of replaced footies and that whole promo made it longer and more stretched out. And they ran the summer heat program in like the background while they had other kind of stuff going on. So what people are thinking is, is that FIFA freeze or ultimate team freeze, whatever it's going to be called is going to be a promo that runs kind of like summer heat instead of like foot miss, we're still going to maybe have foot miss SBCs, but, uh, we'll have this freeze promo that starts like right now in mid December and runs all the way until team of the year. And it's kind of like summer heat where they put one promo out and they just do all this other stuff in the game. And they kind of brand it as one promo kind of like they did last summer with the summer heat promo. So that's why a lot of people are thinking that this might not be like a brand new promo. It might just be a new way of saying, Hey, we're going to have foot miss. We're going to have icon swaps, icon SBCs for the first time, uh, team of the year nominees and packs possibly. Maybe they will make freeze cards. I haven't seen a card design yet from Footwatch or any, anything like that. But those are all things that we could see inside of this FIFA freeze promo. And again, right now it's all speculation because we do not have any uh, real knowledge of what is actually going to be coming out on Friday. But that's kind of like the top, I guess, theory right now of what FIFA Freeze is. Now, with all the other content that we have had recently in this game, the SBCs, the past couple days, man, they've been real slow. If you honestly think about it, today we had an objective player. Yesterday we had literally no content. Uh, since this Immobile came out on, what was that, uh, Monday? This came out on Monday? We've literally had nothing. 
So I don't know what EA is doing with this team. The group stage is kind of like over and they're really kind of waiting for us to push for FIFA freeze or whatever it is. Um, this Friday could be a huge day. So hopefully we get some more information on like icon swaps related stuff too, uh, because that'd be really cool if uh, icon swaps was out this Friday, because I feel like it's got to be coming soon and maybe they're going to drop icon swaps and prime icons on the same day. We'll see. But uh, that's that conversation is probably for tomorrow. At least for right now, again, our idea of FIFA Freeze and what it is, is most likely going to be kind of like Summer Heat was. And it's just kind of be like the whole winter promo, just branded under one word instead of having Team of the Year nominees, having Foot Miss um, until Team of the Year. So I guess that is kind of all that we know right now. Of course, I would expect since they've already uh, put out this loading screen, um, I would expect an updated one today on Thursday post 6 p.m. time frame. So part of our content today on Thursday should be another loading screen with it, maybe a car design, maybe Footwatch will tweet out a car design um, or something like that. So we'll keep an eye out. We will keep an eye out for more related updated info screens uh, because EA likes to do this and they like to tease us. So we're really curious to see what that could be. Now, speaking of Footwatch, they did tweet out one thing today, and that is this car design right here. This is one that we are expecting because this is for the David Beckham card that we are all going to get. If you've logged into FIFA basically since like November or something, uh, you're going to get an 86 rated David Beckham English Real Madrid right mid card. And that is going to be coming out on the 15th, the 15th of December is when that's going to come out. So that is the confirmed date. It's kind of a weird date to be completely honest, but the 15th is when that's going to come out. It looked like they loaded this car design into the game. So that's what this was today. That should be the only thing related to David Beckham and related to that car design that we see, because that of course is kind of, you know, special to him. Next thing I want to talk about with rewards today and with this new loading screen also, I think EA messed up with this team of the group stage. Check it out, this little infographic right here, right? The team of the group stage players were just, this graphic was updated to say that team of the group stage players are actually now in packs until Friday at 6 p.m. UK. When the new promo starts, this one will end. Now, before that said December 10th, which was today on Thursday, I honestly think that EA has done this before, right? They've done this a couple times before. I think they weren't meaning to actually end the promo on Thursday and they extended it a day. I think they actually meant it to go on Friday and somebody just fat fingered a zero instead of a one on their 10 key at EA headquarters right here into the screen, into the, um, into the screen. So I guess unless EA actually tweeted it out, which maybe I'll go look at their Twitter and see if they tweeted uh, the squad out, on Friday and they said uh, that it was gonna be out until the 10th, then I would believe it and say that they messed up. But at least for right now, uh, their graphic says, no, nah, their graphic does not say, it just says available from 6 p.m. UK for a limited time. So I guess this is the only place I think where they said it was gonna be on the 10th when they would go out of packs. And again, um, I think they just messed it up graphically inside of the game. So I think that, you know, I feel the same way about Team of the Group Stage cards. Right now, they're in packs. They're going to get supplied a lot today during rewards. A lot of these cards are down big. Oh my gosh. Holland is 240. Wow. This guy has absolutely dropped off a cliff, man. He was like 250, 260 today for most of the day. He has absolutely dropped 270, both consoles. He dropped off on the PlayStation. He's still 260 on the Xbox, which is making me kind of interested in this card for actually looking at it right now. But I think this guy's going to get supplied. I do expect a little bit of a rebound after rewards today on some of these. Now, are you going to see a rewards rebound with the with the loading screen that is set up? Yes, I do think you will. Um, it might not be the craziest rebound ever on like other out of pack special cards. Some of our popular players in the game, you know, that we're looking at to invest in for Thursday flips. Uh, rule breakers, record breakers, out of packs, informs, and specials. I do think you will see a decent market rise, uh, but maybe this new loading screen and just the state of FIFA right now feels kind of dead. That might hurt that a little bit. Uh, so I'm not expecting a huge, huge, huge rise today. Uh, just something pretty, just pretty, you know, okay. And honest, in all honesty, just like a decent market rise today on a Thursday, especially since there's a lot of question marks related to icon swaps. A lot of people are just like are ready to grind to get an icon on their team and they haven't been able to do that yet. I want to take a look at this week's team of the week as well because again, today at Rewards Day is going to be a fantastic time to flip these players if you're um if you're on and you're awake. 
um, what is it like three, two to three hours in that time frame after weekend league rewards come out. A lot of people open their team of the week packs. These cards uh, drop down and then they come right back up. If I had to guess on which cards would be coming back up today after rewards, I would pick out uh, Zaha, Pogba, Sun, uh, Milinkovic, Savage, and Quadrado. And if I'm looking at a value buy today, looking for a team of week card that could drop a bit of rewards and then rebound, I'm looking at Quadrado for sure with that Pacey right back in the Serie A. I still think he's a bit overpriced at 130. I think he'll come down. But a lot of these cards should rebound a little bit after rewards because people are going to open their team of the week packs, right? Some people have saved their team of the week packs and opened them today already. Um, but this is a solid team of the week, right? EA kind of not juiced it up, but you know, Sun. Yeah, it's his first team league card of the year. One goal, one assist. Pogba, of course, gets in. Salah. There's a lot of headliner names in here with Pogba, Salah, and Son. So one thing this also could possibly mean is an upcoming team of the week SBC repeatable because they kind of juiced up this team of the week. We have a promo coming on the horizon. So all I'm saying is if you want to buy 83s and you want to buy some SBC fodder, a lot of this stuff is still cheap and it's not a bad time to do a club stock. Still a great time to do a club stock in all honesty. Some of the prices are even a smidge lower for the 84s, 85s, and 86s than they were yesterday. Um, of course, right now, if you're at this stage of the game, I guess you're waiting until rewards tonight. I did not think that they were going to stay this low. I thought people were going to start investing in these cards, uh, especially with a new promo coming, even though it looks like it might not exactly be foot miss like we usually know it i still think they're going to do a bunch of sbcs during foot miss um that, dude i love that foot miss car design i don't see ea going away from that that's been a staple of fifa for so long so i feel like we're still going to get foot miss sbcs or christmas related sbcs inside of foot so i i like the sbc fodder um i like it for a club stock um for sure uh, and yes, it could dip down a little bit of rewards today, uh, but I think a lot of people are going to start buying now for sure after this because they're expecting SBCs to be upcoming as a part of this promo. So uh, that's kind of what I expect for today with rewards as well. You know, some of these road to the final cards, we're talking about these today. They've been all over the place. Now we're getting one day closer to the upgrades because uh, today is Europa League on Thursday. So we're going to find out for all of the players that are road to the final items, which cards are going to be getting upgraded, which ones are not going to be getting upgraded. I was looking at Promes today. Promes, you know, I, I tweeted out today that I said, watch Promes. He's going to have a drop off. He should rebound like Rashford. Now, Promes was not ex like Rashford at all. And the reason why I'm realizing that Promes did not kind of follow the same uh, path that Rashford did. And, and just to, to run you guys up to speed, this is what happened with Rashford after their Tuesday game. Uh, yesterday, he got panic sold after the game into the nighttime, hit a low on Xbox at 598. He rebounded to 645. You know, decent profit there. What is he on right now? 655, 660 on the Xbox right now. And then he went down to 720 on the PlayStation and rebounded back to almost 800,000 coins. And right now he's at 780. So, there was a flippable a flip window in there if you timed it correctly because there was a panic sell off. Now the difference with Rashford to Promes was so many people were invested in this Promes card. So when they saw that Ajax was going to lose at the end of the game, they went down 1-0, Atalanta scored. Everybody started panic selling this Promes. He was down at 100 and 50k just for a slight bit 150k the flipping graphs won't show it on on playstation i saw him at 150k even at 180 he rebounded back to like 250 went back down to 220 and is or 200 and is now back up to 222k i still think this card has a little bit more room to drop off i think it's a little bit overvalued uh in my opinion right now i know they're going to the europa league yes this item is going to turn yellow and black and it's going to be Europa League live item. But for the moment, I think it's too overpriced, especially considering what is going to be coming. Team of the year, market drop, possibly the freeze slash footmas promo coming up as well. So, you know, um, if you made money on this card today, GG's. It just did not have the exact same movement as uh, Rashford did. Now, one card that did have a similar movement to Rashford was Hazard, except Hazard and Real Madrid, they won. They didn't lose like Rashford and United did. But check this out, man. Rashford today, I actually sold mine pre-game. I took the easy coins. I said, I'm taking the guaranteed coins. I sold it at 800K about right here. After the first goal that uh, Real Madrid scored, 
This hazard went to 950,000 coins for a hot second. He went all the way back down to 700k and has since rebounded to 750. Now, this is very similar to the Rashford situation. I don't know why this hazard went up to 950. Honestly, um, I don't know why people ended up buying him up there is my question. How did he get up all the way up to that price? I guess part of the reason I can't answer is because or I can answer is because this guy is just super duper rare, very rare card, high rated road to the finals did not have a lot of pack weight anyway. Um, but if you own any of these cards and you haven't sold them yet, the upgrades are yes, they're coming tomorrow. But I think a lot of these cards are still going to drop off because I think they're still um, over invested in some of the Europa leagues for sure. Um, not over invested in, but I think people are valuing them too highly right now at this stage of the game because they're not going to get upgraded um, until, you know, maybe they're going to upgrade right now if their team moved on the next round, but now they're not going to get an upgrade until February after on Friday. So that's kind of what I would say about these. Take the cash, run, and we'll buy back into these in January uh, and, you know, into February even if you want to with Champions League not, or, and Europa League not resuming until then. So that's kind of my thoughts on those. Again, these group stage cards, man, are really cheap. And I'll, this is my last thought that I'll leave you with with these group stage cards. Um, yes, they're really cheap. Yes, they're really supplied. But, man, uh I also think a lot of people want to use these cards in their FIFA Ultimate Teams because number one, they are so cheap. Dude, this Holland at an 87 rated inform has an 87 rated inform that was more expensive than this when he first came out into packs. That inform is 300K. And now this card is 235 with better stats, better card design, and uh, still a dynamic image. So a lot of these cards are very, very cheap. I know we have so many left wings in this game. But Raheem Sterling being 180K uh, for the player that he is known as in FIFA, the links that he gets is really crazy. 94 pace uh, for sure is wild. In my opinion, that's really, really low. Messi being 1.6 mil for a uh, central Messi card. Central Messi card in FIFA. Never used to be this cheap, man. Now, I know Messi isn't the player that... He, 161! Wow, man. That's so low. And dude, the jersey kind of like blends in with the card design. Oh, that's a good looking card right there. So I guess just watch these team uh, group stage cards today. They could bounce a little bit. Watch icons today as well. There might be some icons that bounce with rewards. I know a lot of people are kind of staying away from that stuff just because they're not too sure about how those cards are going to be impacted on the market in terms of icon swaps and stuff like that. But, um, you know, one other thing you could look at as well is maybe some of these road to the finals get sold off. Like this Griezmann's back down in the 540s, 530s. Maybe there's an opportunity for him to rise back up into the upgrade time frame on Friday night if you want to get a bit risky with that. You can get a bit risky with that. So that's kind of all the stuff for today's video. Watch the team of the week today during the... Um, supply from the uh, weekend league rewards. Good luck on your weekend league rewards. Hopefully we get some more information from EA today related to the foot freeze, which I think we will see. Hopefully an updated loading screen, maybe a card design from Footwatch. If we are getting uh, a team in packs, we'll definitely be getting a card design in my opinion. Uh, so of course a footmas card design would be very interesting too. So we'll dissect that as it does come available to us. So if you enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you are new. It's been Nate the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.